Camelot. Bem-vindos a Camelot. Agora eu vou entrevistar uh, Mark Tain. Uh, hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how long have you been drawing for Magic? For Magic, uh, about 24 years, since 1992. Uh, uh, just prior to like the, uh, th to the Alpha set being uh, um, uh, released. So, uh, for almost all the time that uh, uh, Wizards has uh, produced Magic cards. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you, from the beginning, from 1992, yeah. have you met uh, Richard Garfield? Yes, many times. Uh, uh, we used to go to, to some shows together, and of course he used to work at Wizards of the Coast as an employee before he, uh, um, uh, before he left. And I was working as a concept artist there as well, so we would see each other like every day, at least, nice. for many years. And uh, how is the process from the, the idea of the card to the final art? Well, in the beginning, the... Uh, um, the card was, uh, uh, there was no art description. They would just give us the title of the card. In fact, the uh, art director of the time was uh, uh, just telling us the name of the card over the phone. And uh, uh, he would just give us the name of the card and I would go, oh, that, that sounds good. I'll take that one. And uh, uh, that was the early days. Later on, as the art descriptions became more specific, the, uh, um, uh, usually they would pick uh, a card that was suitable for each artist. Like, uh, they never asked me to draw unicorns. Uh, they, it's mostly like, you know, just the, the little weird creatures. Mm -hmm. Nice. And in this 24 years drawing, the technology changed and the technique changed. Yes. What do you feel about it? Well, uh, early on I used to do like very small cards about yay big, um, because at the time the scanner at uh, Wizards of the Coast was only that big. So we had to do with the cards of a certain size. Uh, nowadays, they can accept any kind of uh, um, any kind of uh, medium uh, or size, uh, which is good because they have a camera. Uh, and there has been like more of a, uh, a shift, I think, for more artists from uh, uh, traditional art to like digital. Although there are a few, quite a few uh, artists who still do uh, traditional oil paintings and and that kind of stuff. But there are many artists who. Uh, do the work uh, completely digital now. In the very beginning, they didn't allow digital art because at the time there weren't that many people who could do uh, Photoshop art uh, uh, very well yet. But people became better. I see. And before Magic, have you drawn any, anything else? Well, what did you do before? I was, uh, uh, right before Magic, I was doing work for, um, for uh, Wizards of the Coast for their role playing games. In fact, my friend Anson Maddox and myself were doing a lot of monsters and creatures for the Talislanta uh, role-playing game. And then a couple of months later, uh, the Magic game came along. So it kind of was like the first, or one of the first um, um, assignments I had after leaving school. So before that, I wasn't working professionally, but it was one of the first uh, jobs that I, uh, that I had when I moved to Seattle. And what are your references when you are drawing? What are your inspiration? Oh, I don't know. Um, I would like, uh, um, you know, go to the library, you know, look at uh, uh, National Geographics, sometimes like watch television, do a lot of reading. Um, nowadays, it's very easy to, to collect reference uh, using uh, Google. You know, if I need a, a picture of, a, of an eagle, I, I can find a picture of an eagle easy. So it's uh, it's pretty easy to, to do that, but but as far as inspiration, I, I know there's a lot of things that uh, inspire me, uh, typically from nature. Uh, so you know, long walks in a park. Sometimes you find a rock or a leaf and you go, oh wow, look at this, you know, and you never know like when inspiration will hit because you've seen something that's interesting. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks very much. Let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. Right. Right.